In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the Pearson correlation coefficient calculation using Microsoft Excel. So in the same spreadsheet that we used in the graph, click on a cell below your set of data. You want to stay outside your set of data because if you're inside the data set, it'll do a weird calculation. Then go up to the FX button. You'll see where I'm pointing right there. That's the insert function button. What that's going to do is insert a function that will calculate the Pearson correlation coefficient based on the data you select. So click on that button. In the drop-down manual, you'll go to statistical. That gives you the option to choose the function that you're going to insert. And then scroll down until you get to Pearson and click on Pearson. And then click on OK. And now what you're going to get is a window that asks you to select your data. So data array 1 is just our X data. Array means set. So click on the button next to the array line, and it'll take you back to the spreadsheet, and you'll click and drag the whole data set. Then click on the little button next to the data line here. It'll take you back to your data selection window. You click on array 2, which is your Y data, and go over and select the Y data. Then click on the little button in the data window, and then you're done. And you click OK and there is your Pearson correlation coefficient value.